Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I am David Kersley. In today's video, I want to talk about dynamic mirror using a plane. This is the way we will use this feature. If you get good at it, your name will become legendary. So I was at the SolidWorks help site and I was looking at dynamic mirror sketch entities. It allows me to create a piece of reference, whether it's a center line, a line, a linear model edge, or the model edges on a drawing. I can use that when I'm sketching. And what basically think about this, it's like an algebraic equation. Whatever I do to the left side, it's gonna do to the right, okay? And so let's take a quick look, but I found an additional way. So again, it lists four ways we can mirror, but we found a fifth. So I wanted to share that with you today. So if I was doing a traditional dynamic mirror of entities, I'm gonna use my S key quite a bit. I'm gonna start a sketch. I'm gonna pick the front plane and I'm gonna put in a center line, okay? And now that I got that center line, I'm gonna use dynamic mirror entities. And I've got it on my shortcut command manager, my S key. And if I search for it, I just type in dynamic and it's usually one of these first ones that comes up right here. If I left click it, I enter the command. If I hit the plus, it's gonna add it to my shortcut manager and the eyeball, if I click on it, it's just gonna go find it. So I'm gonna left click it. And what it's asking for right now is over on the left in yellow, it says, please select a sketch line or a linear model edge to mirror about. So if I pick this line, notice that I get what looks like two parallel bars at the top and the bottom. Okay, so what did that do for me? So I'm gonna start a sketch, okay? And if I start sketching right here off the bottom, notice what I do here on the left, it's gonna appear on the right. And it doesn't matter which side you start, so I'm gonna make a line. And notice that everywhere that I start to sketch, I start to get, and no matter what I sketch, it's gonna reference it over. Now, if I trim or delete, those are some of the limitations with this. You'll have to go back and edit it as needed. Okay, so I got a nice little sketch. That looks pretty good. And so what's the additional way that we found? So I'm gonna hit Control Tab, and I'll, that's gonna take me to a new, new part here. And so this one's dynamic mirror, and I'm going to use a plane to mirror everything about. So again, I'm going to hit the S key. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to pick the front plane just like I did before. Notice there's no geometry, no sketches, anything. I want to use the right plane to mirror everything about. So when I hit the S key and I go to dynamic mirror, notice it's looking for the reference geometry. I'm simply going to go to my fly out feature tree and I'm going to come down and pick a right plane. Pretty cool. All right. So this time, let's see if it works. So I'm going to hit S, start a line, start at the origin, drag out, drag up. And as I start to sketch around, I'm going to do a little touch off here. Let's make that look good. And again, I'm going to start to put in this neat looking little part here. Okay, that looks good. I see a little dip here. Can I put sketch relationships in? I sure can. In this case, I'm gonna say make tangent. That looks pretty good. If I drag this line over or back, I can. And whatever I do to the right, it, again, it's gonna do to the left. So let's add a few more sketch entities in here. So if I pick this line and come up, again, if I hit the S key, maybe I wanna put a little arc in here. Bonk. And if I start to put in some little sketch entities, again, whether it's sketching on the left or the right, it's not gonna matter because it's mirroring about that plane. So um, hopefully you see something kind of cool here happening. And so again, if I wanna adjust it, if I move my sketch entities up or down and I move them, everything is staying symmetrical. So that's a pretty neat little way. And this is the way we would use the tool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment. Uh, if you have a topic or it's just something you want us to cover, let us know. If I find a new, a new way to use the feature, let us know. So visit our website, goengineer.com for access to professional training, upcoming events, or your whatever you need as far as a technical resource. This is David. I'll see you again, I promise. Now go engineer something amazing.